Hey guys, welcome back. Before I start the ownership video, I want to say that this video was voted on on my Discord server. I think from time to time I will hold a vote for the next video on my Discord server where you can participate. Also, if you find my content interesting and useful, you can support me on Boosty. Link in description. Okay, now we'll get back to the topic of the video. Now we'll talk about ownership in Unreal Engine. But before we move on to ownership, let's remember the basics and base of multiplayer in Unreal Engine. The base starts with the fact that Unreal Engine uses server client architecture, or also client server architecture, if you refer to the Unreal Engine documentation, because there is not much difference. So, the main thing you need to know about client server architecture is that the server is the authority, the boss. He controls everything. And the client is just a worker who receives a response, a result from the server when it contacts it. Accordingly, data replication occurs from the server to clients and nothing else. You can give an abstract example of working in an office. Let's say you are a worker in an office. You are not an authority there because you do not control all the processes there. And you only receive messages from the boss at your work about what you need to do. And the boss in your work is the server. He is the authority. He controls all the processes that occur at work and answers to you. You can't just quit your job without telling your boss, right? Because it would be dishonest and wrong. I think the abstract example gave understanding. So for now, I won't stop and talk about relevancy, RPC, actor's role, etc. etc. So let's move on to the importance of this topic. Ownership is a fairly important concept in multiplayer and is key to understanding multiplayer and replication in Unreal Engine and networking. Therefore, due to misunderstandings, this topic becomes confusing and various problems occur, such as problems understanding replication in Unreal Engine. One of the warnings, no owning connection and RPC do not work or do not work correctly. Although RPC does not work correctly, this is an incorrect expression. In general, in conclusion, I would like to say that every topic in multiplayer and replication is important to understand. So let's now move on to the topic, what is ownership? So before I start talking about ownership, I want to say that ownership and the role of an actor and the remote role of an actor are different things and not the same thing. So let's move on to the term. Unfortunately, the term ownership itself doesn't have a precise definition. But here's what I tried to do. Ownership. This is the ownership of an object that is associated with the actor's player controller or pawn or character class. But here it is worth making an important exception. Of course, you can own each actor and set the owner as a player controller or pawn or character, but this is not an entirely correct and good approach. I'll tell you about this a little later. To put it simply, ownership means that what you own, you control. So let's get to the main point. When a client connects to a server, a player controller is created on the server that is associated with a connected client. The connected client is called a connection. When a client starts a game on the server, that player controller owns the pawn that the client controls in the game. The player controller is the owner of the pawn. So an actor's owning connection is the connection associated with the actor's owning player controller. The owner and the owning connection determine which connected client has the authority to make changes and call remote functions. I will now give an abstract example with a person. When a person is born, he has a soul, and his soul is a player controller, and the person who is born is called a connection. I'll give you one more example. Let's say you are a customer in a store. When you were born, you got a soul. It is a player controller, and your player controller is a connection. There will be a seller in the store, and you will want to call his function for selling goods. But this will not work, since you do not own it and you are completely different people. You have different connections and different player controllers. I hope the examples gave an understanding of what is happening. However, if you still have questions about ownership, ask them in the comments and I will answer them. So let's move on to where ownership is used and how. Ownership is used in RPC. So if you are the owner of where you are calling the RPC from, then it will work. For example, you call a server RPC interaction in your player character class, and it will be called and work correctly since you are the owner and have the connection, even if it is directly or indirectly. I will say this, any other actors that belong to the player controller also have a direct or indirect connection. Ownership is also used during actor replication 
to determine which connections receive actor updates. And it is also used by the settings and relevance parameters that you can see in the class defaults of your class actor. Also used in property replication in C++, but I won't go into that since it's mostly used in C++. So now let's move on to how to own. Of course, this is not an entirely correct expression because as we know, only the player controller has a connection. Therefore, how to own. This is not a completely correct expression and should not be used and said directly and unambiguously. But it depends on the situation and case. However, as I said and we know, other actors that directly or indirectly belong to the player controller will also have a connection. Usually this is a pawn, a character, a player's state. So if we have a goal to interact with an actor via RPC, then it is safest to call RPC from them. However, this is not always the case. For example, when the actor does not have a connection yet. This can happen due to the actor's settings for refresh rate, priority, or even packet loss. So we can communicate using the player controller or other actors who also indirectly or directly belong to the player controller and have a connection. However, what if we own some actor? To do this, we can set its owner by passing player controller or pawn or your character class. However, as I said at the beginning, this is not entirely correct and in some cases a very bad approach. And now I'll tell you why. Let's say we have some kind of actor with whom the players will interact, and they will want to interact with it at the same time, but they won't be able to because the actor will have one owner and no one else. I will show this example in the practical part. Also, set owner is bad because it creates too many unnecessary hard links in some cases, which leads to poor performance. And finally, it's counterintuitive to polymorphism, which is perfect for this situation. Therefore, if we want to interact with some actor, then this must be done from the actor who has the owning connection. However, set owner can also be used, but in some cases and not always. However, it all depends on the specific case. So I hope you understand ownership. However, if you have questions about this topic, you can ask them in the comments. Now let's move on to the practical part, examples. So before we start, I wanna show you the interaction system. So here's a server RPC that fires a beam. As we know, in order to call an RPC inside an actor, we must own it. And just like we know, any other actors that belong to the player controller also have a connection. So this is due to the fact that we own our player and have a connection. We are able to call the RPC and it does not reset and does not throw an error. So now I'll show you what's going on. At the begin play event in our blueprint level, two of our examples are spawned on the server. Of course, there is no need to use begin play and blueprint level because this is a bad example and approach, but I am showing this only for demonstration purposes, and there's no need to do this. So we will spawn our two examples on the server. Here it is important to remember that we are spawning on the server, because then we will need it at some point. So in the first example, we have a server RPC, which sets the value of the rep notify variable since data replication always goes from the server to the client. When entering box collision, we enable the player's input and press the F key to execute server RPC. So let's see what happens. So what's going on? When we press the F key on the server, the text changed. But when we tried it on the client, nothing happened. So as you remember, I said, remember that we will spawn our actors on the server. And if anyone guessed it, the server owns it and has an owning connection with this actor because no warning appears in the console. So it can interact with them, but clients cannot because they do not own it. That's why this happens. The server owns this actor since it spawns on its side but the clients do not own it. So let's now try the same example, but only using a dedicated server or net mode play as client. As we can see, when we try to interact with an actor, a warning appears that we do not have an owning connection with it. 
That is, we do not own it in order to interact with it. I showed you a bad example of ownership when there is no owner connection with the actor and it is impossible to interact with it in any way. Now I will show a good example of ownership. So in this good example of ownership, we have an event to set random text and rep notify a variable for this text and an array of words that is set to this variable. You may be wondering why I don't use server RPC. Well, as we remember, our line trace event is already server RPC and therefore it is not needed here. But this is in my case. In your case, everything may be different and you may need server RPC, but in my case, it is not needed here. Since line trace is called in our server RPC and it is executed. So what's going on here and why does it work? So as I said earlier, we have in our server RPC line trace character, which shoots a beam on the server. And as we know, any actor that belongs to our player controller has a connection. And if we have a connection and own the actor, in our case, this is the player class, then we have the authority to call remote functions, RPC, and they will be executed. And since our character class belongs to the player controller and therefore has a connection, we therefore have the authority to call remote functions. Authority in this context does not refer to the server, as is the case with the switch has authority macro. It is important not to confuse this. Authority in this sense means an opportunity, for example. We are in a store and we have money to buy chocolate. This means authority in this sense, not a server. It is important not to confuse this. So here's a third example. In this example, I will show one of the ways to own an actor using the set owner node and tell you why this is a bad example and approach. And you should not do this, and you will probably see this even before I tell you. So what's going on? You probably saw it yourself. As I showed earlier when entering box collision, I set a new owner, and that owner has the owning connection to this actor. And therefore, as the owner, he has the authority to run remote functions. And again, as I already said, I will say that authority in this sense does not mean the server. However, if another player enters this actor who already had an owner, then the new player will have an owning connection with this actor and will be its owner. And the old owner of this actor will no longer be, since only one can be the owner of an actor at a time. And that's why set owner is a bad approach in example, because different clients will not be able to interact with the actor at the same time because it can only have one owner. This is also a bad approach because the actor may end up with a lot of hard links, which will reduce performance. And it also contradicts polymorphism. So this is the end of the video. I hope you understood ownership and found it useful and interesting. However, if you have any questions, ask them in the comments or on my Discord server. Thank you for watching this video until the end. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel or you don't miss any new videos. See you in the next one.